Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. The coronavirus pandemic has killed more than 100 people in America, including our first death in Michigan. People need to take this seriously. We had someone die today because of COVID-19. Cases have now soared past the 7,000 mark, with testing shortages being reported at hospitals all across the country. And we begin with new cases of the coronavirus here in Metro Detroit. Tonight, Oakland County is now reporting it has 77 confirmed cases. Macomb County announcing cases there have doubled, going from 10 to 20. Mara McDonald live at Beaumont in Southfield. And Mara, earlier we heard from the governor who had a message for anyone wanting to get tested. And a message, Devin, that is echoed by doctors, which is this. If you're not a senior citizen and if you are otherwise healthy, save that test for somebody who's in a higher risk category. Take a look. Coronavirus testing is being processed on site at Beaumont on a limited basis. We simply do not have the bandwidth, the testing supplies, to test everyone. Which is why doctors are asking you to follow Governor Whitmer's example Yesterday, here. Yesterday, someone the, from the press asked me if I had been tested, and I said, no, I'm, I am healthy. I'm exhibiting no signs. I have had no known exposure with anyone who has COVID-19. And if I somehow became aware that I had, I would do what I've been telling the public to do, which is stay at home and self-quarantine. I want to be clear that not everyone with COVID-19 symptoms which includes fever, cough, and shortness of breath, needs to be tested. But if you're elderly or have underlying medical issues, especially heart, lung, and autoimmune, you are who they want to test if you have symptoms. Please call before you come in for testing. The state's first COVID-19 death is a man in his 50s with underlying health problems who died this morning at a Beaumont hospital in Wayne County. Our medical team went to extraordinary efforts to care for this patient and we are deeply saddened by his passing and empathize with his family. Tonight, Michigan has at least 110 cases. Expect that number to rise. This is a very serious situation. As the situation continues to develop, we expect more cases, and unfortunately, we expect more fatalities. Back here live, not only does the state have a coronavirus hotline, so do multiple hospital systems. Beaumont has an online diagnostic tool. They put that up today. It's a pretty good thing to check out if you're feeling lousy and you want to know whether they think that you qualify for a test. We're live in Southfield tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah, all right, Mara, thank you.